wide-eyed life blindfolded Stanley Kubrick, my vision's been impeded by tradition-driven hubris My niggas been the same, ain't no additions to the movement But it's really fair change, they got a nigga feeling stupid I often doubt my judgment when I know it's right Hate to be the sum of all my actions, but I know it's life On this channel, we are no stranger to Cadoba and Chipotle And today we're headed to Cadoba for some burritos With the new Cholula Hot and Sweet Chicken So we're each gonna customize a burrito Get what we love with that new chicken. I think it was a couple weeks ago we did the Frank's Red Hot from Subway. All these big hot sauce companies pairing up with some fast food. Smart, 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 smart dude. Man. We're all about that that innovation. Yeah, that's right. I say innovation. You did. I don't yeah, even say innovation. I like, I like fast. I like frozen Chinese food. It's so delicious. And I'm not afraid to say it. You so know? let's go to Cadoba in Lakeview, Chicago. Come along. Alright guys, hot and sweet chicken burritos acquired jump cut. No need to show you a second angle, you know what a tortilla filled with stuff looks like I hope. If not, well, burritos are really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're a really fun food to eat. Dude's over here making moves. I bet mine for the thumbnail, don't judge me. Alright, Cadoba Cholula partnership. Cheers. Cheers. First bite, a lot of tortilla. Me too. A little bit of pepper with the gub. Mm-hmm. So the chef inspired one was the white cilantro rice, like I hit the accent, cilantro. Hmm. Black beans, pico de gallo, I never know how to pronounce it, Co cotija cheese. I never even heard of it before today. You got queso, which their queso is awesome. Mm -hmm. We got fajita peppers, and then that cholula chicken. This is the boring part where mm -hmm. I try to get to the chicken. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about getting burritos. It's almost like a little video game challenge where you like you gotta work for the good stuff a little bit. You gotta get through that first boss. Yeah. To get to the really fun levels. Mm -hmm. To get to the water levels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All my video game references will always just be Sonic 1. Minor Zelda. Yeah, great game. Mm -hmm. Great franchise. I'll tell you what, this is all just really tasty. I'm not getting any... It's hard for me to like tell what the chicken is like. Cadoba makes a good burrito. Almost definitely you. I love their black beans. I was trying to think like Cholula is not sweet at all. So I was wondering what the sweetness was. Like what did they add to the Cholula burrito to make it hot and sweet? Mm. Cause vinegary Cholula has no sweetness to it. So that's what I was kind of wondering what they were gonna end up doing. Maybe sugar, maybe honey. Right. Maybe the love of a child, I don't know. You don't know, it could be all those things. It could be all of them, none of them. Okay, I can try just chicken now, I got a bite here. Yeah, oh, here we go. There you go. That just fell out of the burrito gods. They just dropped you off a present there. They were like, you're not getting to it here. We'll do yeah. it for you, you idiot. Also, shout out to this is the diversity, okay. diversity in Sheffield, Cadoba. They're always so nice to us here. Indeed, I got a little chicken there. Yeah. I thought it was it's pretty good. I think the best part about the chicken is now that I've tasted it solo, mm -hmm. I do like it. Mm -hmm. But I'll say the the best part about it to me is the way that it melds with all this other stuff. I was gonna say like I think what Cholula hot and sweet chicken would do would be just to mix whatever you put on a burrito with that's gonna work. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'll, we've always said this about Cadoba too. Way more options of stuff to put in the burritos in there. Like if you love Chipotle, like they're so good, but Cadoba really does have way more options. They have a thing of just jalapenos, which I think is awesome. Like why doesn't jalapenos are so easy to make fresh? Like Chipotle is all about fresh, fresh, fresh. Dude, people love, get some jalapenos. I always miss jalapenos at yeah. Chipotle. That was a good chicken bite. Mmm, tender. Oh man, that was a really good bite. That was so good. That was like the thigh tenderloin. <laughs> That's what it tasted like. Yeah, this was a tough one for me to judge. I know. I'm it's trying my best burrito, over though. here. You know, I'm sacrificing my uh, blood vessels, filling with cholesterol and heart, heart attack juice. Right. But I'm doing it for you guys. I'm fighting through. I'm trying my best to let you guys know what's great in this world. And this is a tough one. This one I had to sacrifice a little bit more for. And if the chicken wasn't good, it'd be easy to tell within the burrito and then for you to be like, you know what, go with another meat. You know, yeah. if it works with everything, then I'd say it's probably a good, right. yup. Right. There's no way this was going to be bad. Yeah. Hard to make a bad burrito at Cadoba. It is. If you found a way to make a bad burrito at Cadoba, write a book about it. Yeah. I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. I yeah. think you're onto something. You've gone on a journey of epic proportions if you figured that. Yeah, also that's a really out. sad advancement in your life. <laughs> I found a way to make a bad burrito, dude. 
no big deal. Yeah, there's PhDs out there mm -hmm. trying to solve global warming, mm -hmm. and we're figuring out <laughs> the best burrito styling. But you know what? Everybody's got to have their place in the world. I think that you know the burrito connoisseurs of this world are just as important as say someone who's trying to cure cancer. That's a good point. I don't want to discriminate against burrito uh, bashers. The BBs. The BBs. The sweet is sweet honey. Look at that. Made every day in the kitchen with grilled in-house chicken, tossed in the Cholula original hot sauce, and some sweet honey. Mmm. Oh, baby. One more bite for Sean. Goodbye, Trays. Bye. Thanks for letting me eat on you. My pants are stained because of the food. Oh, when my pants are stained, it's not because of the food. Look at this. These are my eating pants, though. These That's are the ones so. that can get totally trashed, and I don't mind. Can I spit on them? I, I mean, I don't mind spit being on them, but your spit concerns that me. That makes sense. You're a dirty trash that monster. That makes sense, yeah, dude. Sometimes I eat, uh, well, I drink street beers, and I've eat, uh, I ate a uh, tailgating cookie one time, like a cookie I found on the parking lot ground at a tailgate. I know you did. To make Kylie laugh. Yeah, and did and, she, la she laughed. And then sure. she married me. So, yeah. guess what? How was the cookie? It's delicious, honestly. If you don't think about the fact that people have been spitting and dirtying up parking lot floors, you can eat anything off of them. That's it's not true. a big deal. When that's your barometer and you have a delicious burrito from Cadoba, it's obviously going to be great. You know? This is a biased review. This guy's this is, eating a street I'm, cookie. Yeah, I'm eating street cookies. Of course I'm going to like Cadoba. All right, before we go ahead and rate the Cholula Hot and Sweet Chicken Burrito, Let's do a shout out. Shout out to the UPS workers, man. Dude, no kidding. How did he get that out of the truck with ease like that? This guy is a professional. He is, bro. I wish I would have seen it. I'm mad I missed it. Remember when Doug Heffernan was an IPS driver in King of Queens? Oh, Kevin James. Mm hmm. Discord shout out, Discord shout out, Discord shout out. Discord is kind of like a. AIM chat room mixed with like a professional Slack channel and like Reddit all kind of mashed into one. We have a Discord channel where all the loyal number six with cheese fans pop on there. They talk about episodes. A lot of times they don't talk about anything about us. They got yeah. their own thing going on. Like, hey, what do you guys? It's uh, who's getting drunk this Saturday? One what are dude you guys tried to, One dude was like, I'm in the DC area. Anybody want to meet up for drinks? I was like, people are gonna start dating from this That's thing. Awesome. We started our own dating profile. I, when we started this, I had no idea how active people were gonna be. It's on it. so active. We're the least active on it. I try yeah. to pop on there and I go, oh, I'm like, they don't care about me, dude. They're, they got their own thing. So if you want to be a part of this community of people, it's just like a little, it's literally like a little window or a, a software thing that pops up and it's just a chat room. You can share photos and stuff. I've had to kick some trolls off of it recently. Really? I had to go on there and boot some people. Oh, that's hilarious. So only when people care, you know, you got to be big enough to get trolled, yeah. you know, and hey, we're big hey, enough. Hey, you know, I know oh, wait, you're doing that bragging I'm thing. big enough, like dude. It. We know I'm big enough. Yeah. I'm big enough. <laughs> I'm not tag a bubble boy. <laughs> These are going to be the greatest years of your life. Now let's fling ourselves onto the bed and cry so hard no sound comes out. So uh, the link is below to join Discord. It's super easy. You can literally sign up with like your email or Facebook and stuff like that. Like everything now, you know, you know it's easy. Yeah, you just create a cool username like Sean Sucks Butts. Yeah. And uh, check it out. Like so mine's Corey with cheese. Yes, it is. You did a good one. Mine's Sean's big butts. Two butts, double butts. Double butts. Who do you think you are? One of the Kardashians? Uh... All right, moment of truth. Out of five honey bear bottles. Oh yeah, I know those. those. are cute. Those How are many horrible. honey bear bottles do you give the Cholula Hot and Sweet burrito today, Corey yeah. Wagner? Well, that's a good question, and here's what I'm thinking on it. I think that burritos are dope, all of them. Every Chipotle burrito, every Cordoba burrito mm -hmm. I've ever had is dope. So that means that the average is like already really good. You yeah, know what I'm that's saying? True, that's right? true. And so I don't think that was like, uh, I, I'm not, I wasn't like, whoa, all those other burritos are dope, but this is the dopest burrito. I was like, yeah, this is just like all the other burritos. I didn't really notice a much of a difference. I don't know if it costs more. If it costs more. It was $20 even for both of our burritos. I bet it doesn't cost more. I don't think so. If it does cost more, I think you should be a little weary of like going there just for that. I don't. I didn't notice enough to say that, like, oh, I'm gonna make a special trip for Cordoba, but right. at the same time, if you're there and you wanna try it, mm -hmm. it definitely was good. So I think it's just a little above average. I think it's cool that they're marketing with these things. Average, keep in mind, is really good when it comes to burritos. Yeah. So I'm gonna give this, a, uh, I'm gonna give it a, just a three. I think that's fair. Yeah, we haven't been to Cadoba in a while. It, this reinvigorated how much I really do enjoy it. Um, that Cotija cheese I could really taste. That was fun. It's like, it's like just. It almost looks like uh, that Parmesan, that like craft, yeah. like stinky cheese my mom used to call yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
um, which I really like the texture of that in with it. It like melted really well in it. I was thinking the whole time 3.5. Wow. I was that. wondering if like 3.5 was going to be my final score, and based off everything you said, I agree. Yeah, look at that. With myself, yep. it's a 3.5. It's good. Always agree with yourself. Always. Let us know if you guys have had that. If you could pick a hot sauce that Cadoba could partner up with, which hot sauce brand would you pick? I'd pick Sixer Sauce. So that's his choice. I would also pick Sixer Sauce. I keep some in the door. <laughs> um, so we'll see you tomorrow. Let us know which hot sauce you'd like to uh, team up with Cadoba or Chipotle or any of those burrito chains, oh and we'll gosh. see you then. Look at this little Halloween girl. Oh, we're filming this in October. It's not somebody walking around in November with. And even if they were, kids can do whatever they want. Yeah, leave them alone. God, adorable. Don't steal it. People feel changed till they feel changed and it betters them. I'ma kill them softly, taste of their own medicine. I and they only let us win if we're made to be exceptions to a rule that they created. It's the cruelest misdirection, my God.